What's cooking money and life movement? JJ Ramos here again. Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Advocacy Friday. As usual, we're going to pull out a post from my blog today and we're going to expound to the best of our abilities. Plus, the objection of the week. Now, for the link to the blog post, of course, link in the description below so that you'll be, well, so that you'll be, so that you won't be clueless as to what I'm going to talk about right now. <clears throat> oh. I'm not gonna keep you in suspense. Let's talk about it right now. Now, this uh, this blog post is called School Week. Okay, brings me back to the time that uh, I had to tell my parents that I'm going to uh, I'm going to Metro Manila for a uh, for a seminar. It's a paid seminar. And well, I pay for my own seminars. Okay, <laughs> I pay for my own education at that. I'm already paying for my own education at that. <laughs> and my dad, okay, my dad was still alive at the time. He told me this: "Wag ka, wag ka atin na seminar kung wala kang trabaho." I was ready to never marketing at the time. Okay, and. I always wanted to laugh, but he, but he might, but he, but he would, uh, but he, but he might knock the snot out of me. Okay. <clears throat> in all this, in all my dad's infinite wisdom, that's the only, that was the only time I did not get him. When I had no idea what he said. Now, fast forward. So about uh, a few months after he passed away. I decided to allot one week in every month to catch up on my books, catch up on my uh, motivational or business books, uh, attend whatever seminars that uh, that have been scheduled at that at that week, or even well, right now, go to YouTube and watch some educational videos. I call it School Week. If there's one thing I learned about education is this as long as you're breathing you can still learn something now I'm sure well nearly every sensible marketer influencer or or home-based entrepreneur will will agree will, will agree with me. will agree with me right. let me repeat it again let me repeat it as long as you're breathing, you can still learn something. Okay? So now, these days, I make it a point to watch YouTube videos about the niche I'm in, the industry I'm in, the profession I'm in. <clears throat> and of course, I uh, go to social media. And I go to social media to uh, check out some available seminars on personal development or even network marketing. Or, well, or even corporate events that will help me network. That will help me network. And learn something, of course. Okay. And these days, every day for me is school week. <laughs> I no longer allot one whole week in a month to, uh, to, to do such things. To do such things. Because, well, I've been uh, I've been so focused on my brand for almost a year now, so I can't afford to uh, I can't afford to a lot one whole week for for informal schooling, so to speak. Okay, I allot one week a month for social media planning okay? to plan the to plan the next the next month's campaign. That's what that's what one week in a month for me is now. So every day for me is schooling. Everybody's learning experience, especially if you're building a brand, All right? So, if up to now you, you're still clueless as to what I'm talking about, link in the description below for that particular blog post. I assure you, it's very educational, okay? So, with that over and done with, let's get on with the objection of the week. But first, a word from our sponsors. Guys, 
Well, I'm here to um, I'm here to promote a, a long-standing uh, home-based business of mine. It's called Load Extreme, and well, sila lang naman ang pioneers ng universal prepaid loading eh, sa buong mundo. Okay, they've been around since 2000s. I became a member. <clears throat> I signed up for the technology in 2008 because I was so I was so fucking tired of um, running out of running out of load at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sure you relate that. I'm sure you relate to that. Wherein uh, you lose uh, you lose a lot of data in just one sitting. Then it's the middle of, it's the middle of the night and you just can't go out right now to look for a store to to sell you some load or to sell you prepaid load out of the question okay so i signed up in 2008 then they rebranded somewhere sometime in the mid to uh mid to uh, that's the early 2010s to v mobile then in 2015 uh, I became a dealer because I was so satisfied with their service. Then a year later, they went back to Load Extreme. Now, this, what you see here, okay, is the V Mobile stock uh, user card. Okay, I usually offer this for 300 pesos. This one alone, okay, wala pang load to. Wala pang load to. Okay, kayo maglo load nito. This is a 300 peso value. But, okay, but, if you can refer me a potential dealer, mm -hmm. see this? See that? See that? Yeah. Okay, see that card? Yeah. I will give one of these to you for free. Okay? For every successful dealer sign up, okay? I'm going to give this to you for free. Now, it's considered a uh, rarity these days, the V Mobile stock. Kasi eh, nag revert nag revert back to Load Extreme kasi ang ang company. So, they rebranded themselves back to Load Extreme, leaving this as well all this. You can say it's a uh, price collection if you're if you're a collector of prepaid cards now let me let me be clear on this this is not a telco okay this is just a service provider for universal prepaid loading okay let me show you that yeah okay so na tayo now you have to all this you have to DM me through Instagram or or my Facebook page. Okay? Use the code JG Ramos. Okay? It's in the subtitles already. Use the code JG Ramos so you can avail of this. You can avail of this for free. Okay? Once you refer a potential dealer and he or she signs up. Okay? Pag naging dealer yun, I mean yung nagbayad siya na nagbayad siya na initial investment and of course uh, na-meet ko na na part of my team this one is for free. Sa'yo na to. Alright? You just use the code JG Ramos para ma-identify ko that you're a feeling of this. You're a feeling of this very special promo. Now let me repeat. This card normally sells for 300 pesos. But if you refer a dealer to me, pag nag-sign up siya, sa'yo na to. Nagkakaintindihan pa tayo. Okay? So, good luck guys. Happy hunting! that okay ganito karamot ang mall na to okay when it comes to bloggers so we're gonna move somewhere else now 
uh, I'm sure you're wondering why why it suddenly went back here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're back home. Well, I'm not going to get into the details, but a lady guard approached me at Robinson's Gallery South. Okay? Tandaan nyo mo na to. Robinson's Gallery South. Sinabi nila sa akin na uh, bawal daw mag-vlog. Eh, obvious naman na nakatapat sa akin yung camera. Hindi naman nakatapat sa sa paligid ng mall. So, I obliged by pausing the video. Balis na lang ako. Since this is a long video, I'm going to be uh, upload, I'm going to be uploading my rant video. Okay? It's both a uh, behind the scenes and rant video. So, abangan nyo yun. Okay? Now, on to business. The objection of the week. Okay? Since an incident happened uh, a while ago, but the objection of the week is a no-brainer. No trust. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I would rather, personally, okay, I would rather have a prospect tell me that he has no money than no trust. Okay? Personally, Alright? Opinion ko to. Why? Because, well, no money, you can still, you can still get in touch with him uh, sa mga buhay-buhay. If, 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 if you've already struck a friendship with the prospect, okay? If you've struck a, uh, 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 either a friendly or a business relationship in any way, right? No money is more manageable than no trust. Okay? Pag sinabi ng prospect that he or she doesn't trust you, wala ka, na, wala ka na magagawa dun. Whether you're a rookie or a veteran in sales, network marketing, or an online entrepreneur. If the prospect tells you that he, he or, or she doesn't trust you, there's nothing to do. There's nothing else to do, but, okay, there's nothing else to do, but graciously, Welcome to the conversation and well telling them like this, okay? I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tell you how I would do it. If the prospect says, Sino ko ba para salihan ako? Eh, ayun yung may kamag-anak ko member. May kamag-anak ko bumili ng produkto. O dito na lang bibili sa ahente niya. That's a no trust objection. Correct? Here's my response. Okay, sir. Ma'am. Oh, oh, sige pa. Wala pong problema. No biggie, no big deal. Probably not for you. Okay. Did I say something offensive? If I did, comment below. Okay? I really want to know if what I just said was offensive. For me, it isn't. So, it's not a problem. Probably not for you. Well, kasi, bottom line, alright, if a person has trust issues, there's nothing you can do, alright, there's nothing you can do. All you have to do is prove to that person, well, actually, you don't have to prove to that person uh, that you're trustworthy, okay? You actually don't have to prove to that person that you're trustworthy. It will just waste your energy, it'll just waste your time. Hmm? Now, if I if I would go back probably to the 2000s, right? I think I had a prospect for Gold's Gym, okay? 2002 I was uh, I was selling memberships for Gold's Gym Philippines. Right? I was a part of their pioneer sales force. So I encountered a prospect that basically said this, I don't trust Gold's Gym. <clears throat> well, being, um, at that point, uh, I was still, I still have rookie tendencies, okay? I still have rookie tendencies at that time, 2002. I asked why. 
Simple lang ang sagot sa akin ng prospect. I don't know Gold's Gym. Mas kilala pa raw niya ang uh, Fitness First. Mas kilala pa niya ang Slimmer's World. Okay? I have to admit, during those times, nobody knows what Gold's Gym is here in the Philippines. Okay? If you go to the US, Gold's Gym is a household name. Correct? If I'm correct, comment below again. Okay? Now, I look back at that now, I thought, okay, no trust means hindi nila kilala ang brand. Okay? So you're in the Philippines. Ghost Gym is a newbie here. Okay, you look back, you look, well, let's, let's look back again at 2002. Ghost Gym is a practical newbie. Unlike Fitness First and Slimmers World, they're the two, they're the two giant, they're the two fitness giants at the time. Siyempre, kilala. Okay? They have branches everywhere, everywhere in the Philippines. Most especially Metro Manila. So that's a bit of, uh, that's, that's stiff competition if you're selling for Gold's Gym. That is stiff competition. So you have, well, that was my tendency. I have to prove to the client na Gold's Gym is better. All over the world, kilala sila. Uh, I even I, I think I even said that all over the world kilala ang Gold's Gym but not fitness first <laughs> but not fitness first okay I actually lost that sale <laughs> I actually lost that sale alright I actually lost that sale galit na galit sa akin ang, ang manager ko nun he was pissed he was pissed at me so no trust I can see only one solution if you're the seller Okay? If you're the seller, there's only one solution to the no trust objection. Build your own brand. Right? I've been building my brand for more than a year now, so I'm in a good position to tell you on how building a personal brand is. Okay? On how to do it. But, results vary. Okay? This has worked for me, it may not work for you. But here's the gist of it. Number one, you have to provide value. You have to provide value for free first. Prove to the market what your what you're about, what your product or service is about, and what sets you apart from the other sellers. Okay. Then two, well, you gotta go, you gotta spread the word through social media or well, word of mouth is too slow these days. Okay. Do it through social media. Do it through the internet. Establish credibility. Right? That's what the major brands did. Coca-Cola, Gold's Gym, uh, Microsoft, okay? Facebook. Those are the four biggest brands right now. McDonald's. Okay, I almost forgot McDonald's. Those are the five, five most recognizable brands, I think, in the entire world. Right? How did they pull it off? Well, they provided value. Okay? And you should too, as the seller. Okay? If you do not want to encounter the no trust objection, build your personal brand. Do not wait for people to tell you na, what do you say? You don't want to Or, much worse, sino ko ba para sa lihang ko? Okay, if you're, if you're into network marketing, if someone asks you this, Sino ko ba para sa lihang ko? If you're a rookie never marketer, wala kang isasagot. <laughs> because you're practically new to the business. You're practically new to the profession. You got no, you have no personal brand. Okay? Now, on the part of the prospect, if you're a prospect, uh, it's okay to say you don't, uh, you don't trust the, you don't trust the, uh, the seller, the, um, the online entrepreneur, the network marketer offering you the business opportunity. It's okay. Alright? It's okay to tell them that you do not trust them. Because it now motivates them to establish their own credibility. Okay? You are doing them a favor. So do not be, do not hold back if you don't trust a person. Okay? If you do not trust someone, tell them. 
Wala kasama doon. Wala kasama doon. Only only a coward okay, will take offense at that. Okay? Duwag lang ang mga ang mga offense sa, sa, sa sinabi mong yun. Duwag lang. I guess I've said a mouthful regarding no trust because it's it is so related it is so related to what happened what happened this afternoon. Okay? Oh. Uh, I need to check my uh, check my other what's all this? Uh, check my other windows. I'm going to leave you with a little a little bit of CTA stuff, okay? A little call to action for you guys. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the news that Random Thoughts will be ending. Well, to clear the air, you better watch this. Alright guys, here's my call to action for this episode. Now, you, you only have Feb until the last day of February. And it, until... February 14, 2020 to submit your proposed topics for episode 45. You heard it from me. Taman tinig nyo. You heard it from me, right? I will let you guys decide what to talk about on episode 45, right? Because I want to end I want to end Random Thoughts free with a bang, alright? And there's no other way to do that than to let the people decide. To let the viewers decide to let the fans decide all right so making a date february 14 2020 deadline for submission of proposed topics for episode 45 all right okay see the call to action good right like what i said like what i said there i want to give that sh i want to end that show with a bang okay so I'll be leaving it up to you, not just the Money and Life movement, but the the entire YouTube first to decide on what topic for the last episode. Okay. Whoa! It's a it's the end, it's the end of another episode again. <laughs> I am so proud of you for sticking it out with me. All right. If you found value in this video, let me know in the comments section. All right. Don't forget your comments. Last chance. The video is ending. And don't forget the drill. Where's my finger? Right there. And see that? Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell. And comment with done. Okay? Remember, doing this drill keeps you in the loop when it comes to my channel. So thanks for watching it all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hanggang sa money, money and light movement.